Yeah, how about that? Tell oh. me about how the Harchies first came to Galesville or what they did before that. Uh, well, of course, Grandpa, still on the Cheney side, was his mother, father, and brothers and sisters. Until, as I said, he bought this property over here in Galesville, and then, of course, he moved here. And, uh, raised his family here, and then started the coat building. As I understand it, his first coat building was under the big tree down there at our And that's where he started building boats. But did he build the pianos first? Is he the... Oh, well, no, I, not his himself. Family. I think it was a family. Uh, that's because I think... Now, I don't, what does this one have on it? Henry yeah. Hartu. Oh, yes. Henry Hartu. Well, that was the name of the first Hartu who came to America. And From? then the Hartu brothers, and then, but there was another name. I think there's three Hartu. different names. Hartu Ganabe. Yeah, but then there was, not, there was one with just the Hartu, yeah, I think. But anyway, as I said, when they moved over here, they built them only on order. And not like they did in Baltimore. Well, of course, uh, I as a child liked to be around the time. You know, asked about early recollections. Well, I have one of my earliest recollections was, as I said, I was here an awful lot. I remember going out here by the little dairy and there was a little mouse running around out there. He got gotten caught in the trap so he was a little bit crippled. So I caught him. I held him up by his tail and he reached up and bit me. <laughs> That's one of my earliest childhood <laughs> recollections. And as you hold up your left hand where your cat's just giving you another tattoo, yeah, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Oscar Neil Hartridge, Jr. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was uh, 11 in our family. And it's mine still living. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of us have worked in the boatyard one time or the other, all except Florence, I think. <clears throat> and uh, and I, I worked in the boatyard practically all my life. I'm 80 years old. And uh, and uh, some of my memories of my grandfather, and he didn't want you bothered, so he said, let that be. And you better let it be too. <laughs> <laughs> and I always remember Grandma <coughs> when uh, we all did something, you know. And uh, she said, "I'm going to repay you one day is when my ship comes in." So that one day a big uh, power boat come in the river. We all jumped up and ran down to the shore and said, "Grandma, Grandma, your your ship is coming in." <laughs> so it is. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> Well, let me ask you something. Do you remember how long ago that Galesville got uh, roads that had a hard top on them? Mm. Uh, well, the first one I remember was a cement road coming in Galesville. And that, that didn't, they were a long time building, that didn't stand up. Mm -hmm. But from the uh, main road down here it was always a, a dirt road. Yeah. And I always remember one thing my father said. <coughs> That sitting in the house and seeing Uncle Will driving down to the boatyard. You mean tell me he came and walked down to the boatyard on the dome? He thought it was terrible. <laughs> and uh, I, I, uh, I was, my father liked to be around the yard and he was very much missed when he, when he passed away and he always was on the dock ready to greet people and find out whether they were on a boat and all. Mm -hmm. And uh, he he quarried something I never did is I was never never able to go up the mass and I didn't like heights. My father I know he was in seventies and he was still going up uh, Bug Yard Mass. Mm. Bug eyes I think it was. So uh, <coughs> and the other memories well I'm remembering. Uncle Dick, uh, we were all around Uncle Dick a lot, you know, we'd come around and work around the yard, work in his shop and dull up his tools and 
all the same deal. But he was the most easiest going person I ever met and had more talents than anybody I have ever known. He, he was a, such an easy person and never sweared. <laughs> and he just, just, it was unusual. <laughs> my grandfather, he was a good with swearing. <laughs> Never even learned one. Yeah, he was just, just, <laughs> he, was, he was a wonderful guy. Yeah. Same thing with my father and mother. I always remember, uh, you know, Dick was working here at the yard, had the go yard going, and he didn't have a telephone. So we had a telephone at home. So Dick, Mama would blow the foghorn, and Dick would come come running around and answer the phone. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a phone. When did electricity get here? Huh. Ah, 1927. I can't remember that. 19. How, how come you remember that so easily? Well, I do. I know in, uh, in 1925 we put an electric generating plant, and then two years later they brought the electricity down. Mm-hmm. How about that? And That's uh, good. Of course, the first uh, radio I ever heard was neighbor was with the Helmers and had built one. Of course there were no loudspeakers. I had earphones. Now, he had a bugle and he was earphone through that bugle <laughs> to uh, make it louder Amplified. so everybody could hear. Mm -hmm. Tell me, do you have any memories of uh, the school up here? Oh yes. Yeah, it was, of course, the old two-room school. Uh huh. This little hut. Mm -hmm. uh, thought the first four grades, but I the next thought the last four. Yeah. Most of the time when I was school, except the last year, I uh, Miss Nora Owen, who was a uh, teacher. always have uh, games, of course, at a certain time, especially the boys play the game we call Mouse House, which is now, uh, I mean, later we were, it was called Prisoner's Base. <laughs> okay. We always played some volleyball. What did you play? What did, what did I play? What, what, did, what did Alma play as a girl, you said? Oh, I don't know. Any over. Do you have any idea when the present house was built on the hazards? You know, the old house burned. We, we was kind of small, so. Hey, it must have been way, way back, because I don't remember being built. Oh, it must have been around. I don't know. Well, my time. No, no, it must have been. I would say, let's. 1908? No, no, it wouldn't have been that early. I think there would probably, I would say, between 15 and 20. It was built. Are you? Before. Huh? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. Just jump in. I oh, I thought perhaps you were trying to determine the age of this house, and I don't know what anyone here happens yeah, to know the age. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah this, this house was built in. In 1878. You remember that? <laughs> no. I remember Papa saying he was three years old. When the Aunt Mamie was the first child born in this house, and she was born in 1879. Okay, that would have been right. Papa said he was 